Welcome everyone to the inaugural Hobo Spotlight. I am Fluffy, and with me today... Nerefear! We're gonna be looking over some stuff. Yeah, so, as I explained in the last video that some of you probably saw and others may have not, uh, we take five videos submitted by you guys and we feature them. So, I'd like to give thanks to everyone who participated and actually sent us a video. We couldn't have done it without you. You guys are awesome. So, without further ado, let's get started. Up first, we have Pigman with his uh, 60 subscriber special. Excellent choice for which one to send us, by the way. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a lot of good in there. Uh, he's a very energetic guy. Lots of enthusiasm, lots of like getting in there with the game and the videos, which is cool. He has a very good use of uh, situational songs. Yeah, I will say, like, I, I've seen professional YouTubers who aren't as good as this, at the situational song as this, as this guy is. Like, Pig's got it down. So, good job there, Pig. Uh, he does have good humor, but he is a little bit vulgar. Yeah, just a warning. If we're saying he's a little bit vulgar, then you know, you know, here's, here's your warning. It's not a bad thing by any means. I mean... We're all adults here, or at least pretend to be. Yeah, if, if you're okay with vulgarity, then there's no problem. Just a small disclaimer. And, you know, he doesn't oversell or overreact to everything. He just feels natural. Which is awesome, because that's, that's honestly one of my biggest problems with some of the people who are, like, really, really big, is they just overreact and overplay and they scream and yell and just like totally lose it at everything and it's like you can tell how fake it is whereas it's a lot more natural with pig exactly so here's a clip from the video he sent us and be sure to go check out his channel oh my god ah fuck me right in the titties <laughs> Oh, is that butt? Oh, that ass! Oh, that ass! Give me that ass! Alright, I see. Oh, chica. This look like. Up next, we have Mad Mike. Mad Mike. Who. I, I don't know the, the reasoning behind Mike, seeing <laughs> as Mike is a female. Hey now, don't be discriminatory. We well, live I'm in just, a progressive world. I'm just saying. But anyways, yes. Uh, she's definitely highly engaged with her audience. Which is awesome. Like, engaging with your audience is one of the coolest things about being on YouTube, or really being in entertainment at all, is being able to get in there with you guys and talk to you and everything like that. So it's really good to see that from one of the channels that submitted to us. She's also uh, very casual and laid back. Like... It's a really natural feeling like all the time like it feels like you're hanging out with somebody and they're playing a game Which is kind of cool like you don't see that a lot It's a lot of this formal like oh these are the rules you got to do the rules of let's play you got to do it this way You got to do it that way, but this is just kind of super casual And like pig man she is slightly vulgar, but again, we are all adults here And I will say not nearly as vulgar as, as pig Pig, yeah. is, Pig is a bit more vulgar than Mike. But uh, just a disclaimer for ourselves, we understand we're vulgar, that's why we're mentioning it. Yeah, <laughs> it is one of those things, it's like, because um, it's entirely possible that people see this and go see you guys without ever caring about anything we do. So they may never know that we're vulgar, so we just want to give them the heads up that you are a little bit, but not like saying every other word or using horrible racial slurs or anything like that. Yeah. So, here's a, here's a clip from the video she sent us. Like Pigman, be sure to go check out her channel. Are you gonna be there again? No, it's not. Oh, fuck, I don't like the sound of this. Something's good. <laughs> oh! Holy fuck! And here we have Go-Op Gaming. Yeah. Go-Op is 
an affiliate of ours and we're happy that they submitted something because we really feel like you guys should go check them out. They're another couch co-op channel and they really capture that feel with a face cam showing them just hanging out and having a good time on a couch. Which is really, really cool. I mean, it, it really lets you see their chemistry, which is nice because sometimes it doesn't always translate through the mic, not necessarily for them, but just in general, it can be hard to translate that chemistry through the mic. So the camera gives them an opportunity to really, really show off their chemistry. And they do have really good chemistry with really good video quality to go with it like both for the face cam and for you know the gameplay footage which take it from us is not always easy to do <laughs> definitely not <laughs> but uh, they don't only talk about what's happening on the screen and that's really important because one of the things that'll engage your audience most is like talking about things that go on with you and, and showing that you're more than just a voice talking about what's happening on the screen. And to further that, they're also very passionate about passionate about whatever they're talking about. Which is cool because I didn't think when I initially started watching these videos that someone could make me, you know, interested in the discussion of an oven versus a microwave or why not to own a microwave. And they did it, so that's pretty impressive for me. <laughs> and to show you what we're talking about, here's the exact clip of that. Preston, what up? Preston is a fucking psychopath. That is what he cold is. mac and cheese? Yeah, no, because well, yeah. you refuse. Yes, yes, yes. That's one. But two, you refuse to have a microwave. I don't refuse to have one. I had you, one at one point. What did he say? What did he say, Dylan? I don't need one. Something to the effect of microwave. He's I said, people... what can I heat up that I don't can't? I, what can I heat up in the microwave that I can't heat up in the oven? And there was Go Op Gaming's video. Be sure you guys go check them out. And up next we have. Error 100. We don't talk about him in our videos at all. No, never. <laughs> never once have we ever mentioned Error in our videos. Uh, Error is another good friend of ours. We consider him an honorary hobo. But he he is a brand new channel, and like for what he is, he has acceptable quality. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better than us when we first started him. All right, well, well, not a lot better, but better. You know, at the end of this video, I feel we should link the video that we got featured in from Ninbuzz. Yeah. To show you guys what we were featured with and give you a rough idea of how much better he is now than we were then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and he does have decent chemistry between the six players involved in this particular video. Which is kind of saying something, because it's it's hard to keep up chemistry between two or three people, or even four, let alone when you bump up the numbers higher than that. And for being, again, a brand new channel, like, it's ambitious, but there's a lot of potential for growth. And I think he did a pretty good job for being a brand new channel with six people in one video. Yeah, that, that's not an easy video to undertake, so I can definitely say he did a pretty good job with the hand he was dealt on that one. And with that, here's a clip from that video. No, you see, they realize that Party. when people play Mario Party, those people don't become friends. Shit, I'm those out. Those people usually end up in street dumps. There's something exactly. more fun than wanting to beat the end of each other. Right, which Mario Party is doing not now. deliver. It makes you like each other. That's terrible. <laughs> Wait, there's a Mario Party game that builds friendships? Yeah, Mario Party what? Town. It's terrible. It's a great game. Ow, I... You can't have a Mario Party game no, while you can work together. So there was that. Be sure to go check out Error. And like every video so far, we strongly encourage you go check all of these guys out because they're all fantastic. But moving into our personal favorite of the week, we have the Daily Dino with his uh, Borderlands 2 Let's Play. Man, I gotta say that as much as we've talked about chemistry a couple times before, the chemistry here was really excellent. Like, the three people that are in this video were on point. I mean, the other two are YouTubers. 
so that does help, but like they all have excellent chemistry together and that's what's important. And they also have very good use of cuts to keep the video interesting. Which is really important on something like this where you're, you know, you're playing a game that's a little bit older, that's really popular so it's been done a lot, so really keeping the focus and the interest together isn't always an easy thing, especially on an editing project that was as big as this one must have been. To go along with that, they also have very good humor and unlike the other ones that we mentioned, they, they are appropriate for most ages. Yeah, which is, is nice. It's, it's good to see the humor from someone that is more age appropriate, especially since we really don't do that. Yeah, we, we're very bad at that. Let's acknowledge it again. We are guilty of vulgarity to the highest extent. Not well, the highest. Not the highest. I the mean, highest of the mid-range extent. The highest of the mid-range, yeah. I mean, we haven't said anything overtly, incredibly offensive to all peoples, so... Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure the day we have to take down a video for that will come. <laughs> and uh, they do talk to their audience and discuss more than just the game. Which, again, is important for, for any channel to do. Engaging is super awesome, and, and they they do it really well. So uh, we'll leave you with a clip of them right now. Anybody that's never seen this this game is probably wondering why we're not paying attention to Claptrap. <laughs> fuck Claptrap, that's it's why. Fuck because he's an idiot. <laughs> Nobody really cares about him. Why don't you guys listen to the Clap robot? Because fuck Claptrap, that's why. Yeah, he's an idiot. Oh god. This oh. is probably my favorite part of the game, <laughs> strictly because Claptrap gets uh, assaulted. Because <laughs> he loses his eye. <laughs> yeah. Loses his eye. He does lose his uh, vocal cords. Or yeah. His vocal program. Oh yeah. Later. All right, guys, and there you have it. Your five chosen chosen channels of the week. Be sure you go give them all a look. Just browse through whatever they have. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed them. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed us. And remember to share this with everyone you know and love. Because the, the, the more people see this, and the more it's shared around, the bigger this can get. And the cool thing about that is that means the more people that we get to spotlight and feature, the more people see that, and the more interest we can generate around everybody in the community. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring us into the Hobo's Tip of the Week. Um, we talked about it plenty so far, but our tip of the week for this week is audience engagement. Um, it's really, really important, like we've said, to engage with your audience, but one of the things that's really cool is the more that you can talk to your audience and the more that you can generate those questions that they answer, the more feedback you get both for yourself and for your channel. So, keep engaging. And before we leave you for this week, be sure to submit your videos for the next Spotlight video. The deadline for that will be on Sunday, July 12th. If you've already submitted a video, feel free to submit again. There's no reason that uh, you, know, you wouldn't want the exposure a second time, right? Um, submit as many times as you like, um, but please do us a favor and try to vary your videos a little bit. Also, don't submit more than once, guys. Thank you, I was gonna mention that. <laughs> but uh, I, I stated a rule before that, uh, that I had a part one policy for Let's Plays. Rule is gone. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take that one down. Just send us what you think is your best, especially since going back and looking at it in retrospect, we have quite a few videos that are part 10, 15, 20, that are actually some of our better videos. Yeah, so bad judgment on my part, I apologize. And be sure that it's a gaming related video because this is a gaming related channel. We had to turn down a submission because it was not a gaming related video. So that should just about wrap it up. We'll see you guys next time.